member for Burnaby Lougheed. Ah, thank you, Madam Speaker. As we all know, the faces of British Columbia have greatly diversified in the last three decades. With more than 20% of all Canadians born abroad, Statistics Canada estimates that by 2030, net immigration will make up 90% of our population growth. So many of us are among the wonderful mosaic landscape that we enjoy today as one of the seven million immigrants from Vietnam to Iran who made Canada our home. So now what is it about BC that attracts so many of us? When I ask this question to the many immigrant families that I serve in Burnaby Lougheed, I hear the same answers over and over again. Parents who came looking for accessible quality education for their children, family who came looking for peace of mind with Medicare, kids looking to grow up in the magnificent nature and wildlife that our province is famous for, seniors looking for a dignified retirement with their loved ones, people looking for the right to respect and be respected in their workplace and in choosing who they love. However, the history shows that life as an immigrant wasn't a fair one. And even in just this past decade, the income profile of recent immigrants deteriorated significantly, and so did their quality of life here. So it is with profound gratitude that I recognize the contributions and celebrate the legacies of many minority community organizations and societies, like the 10 Korean Canadian associations that are present here with us today, who stood up and fought for equality. Our immigrants have been a vital pillar for our labor and investment economy and for the wonderful social diversity that makes Canada. And I hope we can honor their incredible value by always challenging ourselves to build an even better society. Thank you.